<laughs> Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday. It's another Friendly Cheap Friday. Hopefully you guys had a good week. How is everybody doing through all of this shelter in place? Hey Lori, I miss you. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, it's so strange to not. Mayor Aaron, hello, hello, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited people are hopping on. Um, I'm starting to really kind of feel it a little bit. Hey, Susie, um, a lot of these people that are popping on right now are local, and so like they usually come see me at the stamp studio, and it's just so strange to not be able to hold live classes and see everybody and i'm missing everybody hey sharon so hopefully you guys are all philomena hello out in new york hopefully you guys are all doing well i know i mean it's just kind of one of those whew, it's crazy time um still and always i don't know is everybody like staying at home now everybody's working from home um abby hello welcome welcome um yeah i it's funny because i tend to not um I watch the news a little bit and then I get really like kind of stressed out and worried about everything. Hey Nancy, and so I've kind of decided like, um, I get updates from my sister. Now that's how <laughs> that's how I get my news. Hey Rosemary. Um, so it doesn't stress me out as much. She just kind of gives me the highlights. Philomena, you have snow. Yeah, yesterday, was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, we got um, like hail hail and snow and even this morning there was a little bit of white along the edges of the green grass so just hold hold tight philomena it'll it'll blow on through we've got it's been pretty sunny though i mean the weather definitely got a lot cooler around here um so yeah it's back to uh winter i was like oh i gotta find like a cozy sweater to put on again so yeah so anyway welcome if you have not joined us before on facebook live we're live right here every most every friday i mean i where else <laughs> where else will i be now right for a while uh yeah so every friday right here at the gathering inspiration stamp studio facebook group at 11 30 a.m eastern standard time so if you're catching the live later make a plan to hang out with us next friday at 11 30 a.m because we will be live right here again um let's see we all uh, every week i uh pick a product of the week this week was the beautiful oh it's gorgeous 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 the parisian beauty bundle so the fun stamp set and then the um, dies that coordinate with it. You can see the Eiffel Towers. There's one you can stamp and then die cut it, or you can just, it's upside down, there we go. Or you can just die cut it directly. And then the other dies, I will tell you, <clears throat> say Amour. Oh, actually it's the right way. That's so funny, because it's backwards normally, like when I look at it, but oh, at least hopefully you guys are seeing it the same way I am, right? Amour and Merci. And then um, this little fun scrolly thing that I have to use on every single project I make these days. Um, so yeah, it's an awesome bundle of products. So we've been featuring some um, fun projects all week long on our Facebook group kind of to show you um, what you can do with the stamp set and the dies. And then today we will be making a couple of projects with this bundle as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, hey, Jamie, how are you? Thank you. My kids are good. They um, are staying pretty well entertained, although um, I have to laugh. Now, this wasn't one of my kids, but I, I thought it could be my daughter <laughs> at some point. This friend of mine posted on Facebook recently um, that she finished Netflix, and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> like, that's probably impossible to do, right? But Lily's doing a pretty good job of uh, trying to finish Netflix herself. So, hey, Bonnie. Hello, hello. So sorry. I'm like, I get so sidetracked already. Okay. So yeah, so we're going to make projects um, on Facebook Live with this bundle, and and, oh, that's where that's where I was at. So hop on over to my blog at Gathering Inc. with a K, GatheringInspiration.com. Later on this afternoon, I will have pictures of the projects that we uh, demonstrated on the Facebook Live. I will give you item codes of everything that you need. So if you want to get the bundle or any of the other products that we use to make the cards, all those item codes will be there, along with dimensions, colors, basically everything that you need to be able to recreate the projects will be on my blog this afternoon at GatheringInspiration.com. The other fun thing Thing is the two projects that we make with this bundle if you put an online order in of at least $30 by next week on Wednesday which I have no idea what day of the week that well Wednesday but what the date is maybe it's the 15th because I think it was supposed to be the original like tax return day right I'm thinking 
10? Probably. Yeah, because today's the 10th. Hey, Charlene. Anyway, put in an online order of at least $30 um, using the host code that's on my blog, and that'll give you in a little bit. You will get the projects that I make um, using this bundle in a little bit. You can either get the make and takes or you can get the completed projects. Um, so make and takes, you need your own stamps and ink. Um, completed projects are the full cards all done and ready to go because I cannot send stamped images um, in the mail to anybody. So, um, okay, I think... Yeah, so just so you know that, yeah. So, um, okay, sorry, I'm like already off track. Denise, hello, Charlene, if I didn't say hello, hello. Um, yeah, so here I am already checking my, okay, yeah, I think we're good. So, yeah, why don't we just jump right in? Um, Cause there's, <laughs> I was like, you know, usually I kind of just, you know, chat for a few minutes while people pop on. There's really nothing to talk about. There's like nothing. <laughs> Whatever happened like this whole week is the same that happened last week and probably the week before. There's really not much going on other than that we've been stamping and crafting, right? So, oh, and that makes me think. So um, another gal, uh, Pam, actually posted um, a picture of a project that she made. Thank you, Wednesday is the 15th, the day after your son's birthday. Okay, good. Yeah, I know we all have those points of reference, don't we, Denise? My niece's birthday is the 16th. That's, I should have known that. Her birthday is next Thursday. So yeah, lots of April birthdays. It's kind of a, oh, congrats to Cade. Sharon, for what? I don't know for what, um, but thanks. <laughs> um, and now I've totally lost my train of thought. Okay. Um, oh, I know, back to Sharon, because okay, Right, what else are we gonna do right now except get into our craft rooms, pull out our craft supplies, make cute stuff. Um, another idea that I've seen kind of floating around is that kind of like sharing sunshine idea where like you make a card and send it to somebody because obviously everybody can really use a pick-me-up right now. Um, and also share your sunshine on our Facebook group. We would love to see what you guys are doing. I, like I said, I'm sure lots of people are in their craft rooms making cute stuff. So snap a picture of it, put it on our Facebook group and tell us what you're making because we would love to see. Oh, share Oh, are you cute? So basketball honor. So yeah, Cade was, um, I don't even know. It's like in one of the newspapers, like kind of picked for the, the team. I don't know, like the county team or something. So anyway, yes. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, it's funny because Lori actually, who I think is still on here, um, she was the first one that saw it in the newspaper. Um, Maybe there's something else. Now I'm like, oh, I get I get one newspaper every Thursday and I forgot to get it out of the mail, so now I gotta go check it. Anyway, so last week on Thursday, Lori sent me a message with a picture because Cade was in the newspaper, so that was kind of fun. So then I had to run out to my mailbox and get my newspaper, so anyway. And my thought is, right, like what a perfect time. Um, I've been like saving all the newspaper articles um, and pictures and stuff, and I'm like, I, I need to get that in a scrapbook. This is the perfect time to do that kind of stuff, right? So hopefully you guys are doing that as well, um, taking advantage of this extra free time to get those um, things done that you know you've been thinking about doing for a long time. So yeah, Sharon, okay, we're good. I'm on the same page. I have that. Thank you. <laughs> You're too funny. Um, okay, I think let's do our first drawing. So it is for <clears throat> the, oops, the Daffodil Delight. This is the Ruched Ribbon. Nikki, hello. Welcome, welcome. No more earth cakes, earth, earth cakes or earthquakes, right? out there in Salt Lake City. Hopefully that's all calmed down for you guys. Um, okay, so yeah, the Daffodil Delight Ruched Ribbon. This is what we're gonna draw for this week. This is such a fun ribbon. I love the ruching. Can you guys kind of see? So it's got the little gathering. Um, so it just kind of adds a little texture to it. It's really fun, pretty good springtime ribbon right now. So lots of names in here. I think I mentioned last week I've been doing um, an ad on Facebook so I'm trying to find some new stamping friends, right? So I've got lots of names in here uh, because when I do that ad, what I'm um, looking for is people to sign up for my email list. And so I had lots of people do that um, in the last week. And also if you share this video, which I think, Selena, you said you had already shared it. So thank you guys. So keep the sharing up if you have not signed up for my email list. If you're brand new, um, you can hop over to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com and there is a link right there to um, sign up. So <laughs> you'll take a cake though, me too. So that's the problem, isn't it you guys? Like being at home and like the refrigerator's right around the corner from wherever you are at all times, like 
it's um yeah taking some serious restraint nights are really bad i ought to just go to sleep somebody said that they go to bed early just so they don't eat too much i'm like yeah i should probably do that instead i stay up and snack a little bit okay hey sunday how are you okay so here we go here we go we're gonna draw one name okay i think i have yes one little paper in my hand Ooh, miss jacqueline Ra Rachel, maybe I'm not sure how you pronounce Jacqueline's last name, but I love. It's funny, you know, when I write all these names down, that like I, I have like this little, I don't know, like I kind of just say hi to everybody that, especially, well, not even just new people, but everybody. Like when I'm writing their name down, I just have this little hi, hi Jacqueline. Anyway, or just you know have a little moment to think about them as I'm writing people's names on here. So I remember writing her name because I think I remember thinking of. Um, um, Jacqueline, whatever her last name is, that was on, um, um, now I'm going to draw a blank on that too, that Charlie's Angels, that's what it was. <laughs> Jacqueline, whatever her name was from Charlie's Angels. That was my thought when I wrote Jacqueline's name. Sorry, you guys, I'm like loopy, okay? So yeah, is everybody a little bit loopy these days just from like being in the house even... I'm in the house quite a bit, but the, I'm in the house way even more than like normal. So anyway, so congratulations, Jacqueline. I will be um, sending this out. Actually, I need to get your mailing address. So um, send me your mailing address and I will get you the Daffodil Delight Ruched Ribbon sent out to you. So, okay. This week, the... Um, Yes, Jacqueline Smith, that's right, yeah, because she has this beautiful flourishing name and then Smith for the last name. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why. You know how you just have to, you just have to think about those kind of things sometimes. Yes, Sharon, thank you. Thank you for your help. Um, okay, so we will draw next week for, if you sign up for my email list or if you share this video right here anytime between now and next Thursday night. So I prepped this stuff Thursday nights before Facebook Live. So you got lots of time to share the video. Love the shares. Truly appreciate you um, sharing the fun that we have with others, right? And it helps me being a small business, especially when like small businesses are really suffering right now because nobody can work. I can at least do some from home right but it's still not the same because I like to get into my stamp studio too so um, anyway I just that's my point is I truly appreciate you sharing and kind of helping me um, spread the word about my small business so with that being said next week we will draw for this is the pretty peacock the scalloped um uh, linen right yes the scalloped linen ribbon so it's in here I actually have a little strip of it so maybe you can see it a little bit better because I think it's just so pretty. This is a great one. These This is a great color for summertime too. Like I think that pretty peacock is a really pretty color like for flowers or for leaves and things. So anyway, that's what we will draw for next week is the pretty peacock scalloped linen ribbon. Okay, I'm going to scoot that out of the way. So let's see what else. We actually, so... <clears throat> I didn't have any online orders last week, and I just have to give the stamp set away, so I decided I'm just gonna keep this. This is gonna be our thing. So if you put in an online order of at least $30 between now and next Wednesday, the 15th, we know that now, your name will go into the drawing to win the Ornate Thanks stamp set. And I'm thinking, I haven't decided for sure, but I'm thinking um, this maybe stamp set and dies might be our product of the week next week. So you're really gonna be, you're gonna be so tempted. You're gonna want this stamp set. So share the video and sign up for my email. No, no, that's the other one. That's the ribbon. Sorry, this is if you put in an online order of at least $30, your name will go in the drawing to win this Ornate Thanks stamp set. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Oh, quick reminder too. I know I've been saying this, but I wanted to show in a different way. The 2018-20 in colors are going to be retiring. They still, it's funny because I was thinking we'd have some kind of an update we get updates every week um, on Tuesday from Stampin' Up, and they still haven't sent anything about the retiring list. I don't, maybe they're just gonna like put it out. I feel like usually we get some warning. Anyway, so with that being said, um, although I feel like they're gonna put the PDF of the new annual catalog, there's like a count that like one of those tickers, you know, that like the seconds fly by. Maybe we're probably gonna get, I'm trying to think of how many days left it said. Anyway, sorry, I'm totally up on a tangent. 
I was thinking there's probably some correlation between when we can see the PDF of the new annual catalog and when those retiring lists are going to come out, because clearly whatever's not in the new annual catalog is going to be retiring. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Sorry. Well, as soon as I know what's retiring and when they're going to announce those lists, I'll let you know. I really thought I was going to be able to tell you guys today. So anyway. With that being said, though, I do know for sure that the 2018-20 in colors will be retiring. So I just want to do a quick reminder. We have, this is Call Me Clover, right? We have uh, Pineapple Punch, uh, Blueberry Bushel. This one is Grapefruit Grove and then Lovely Lipstick. So make sure you have, if you need any of those colors, make sure you get your card stock, get your ink, get your ink refills, get your ribbon. This I think is last year's design series paper, so you can't get that one exactly, but there's another pattern pack in there. So anyway, just make sure you get, if you need anything in any of those colors, get it like right now, Get put your order in, spend your 30 bucks and you could win that stamp set too. Plus you're gonna get the projects that we'll demonstrate in just a little bit. So perfect time to kind of stock up on this stuff, get to what you need before the retiring list come out because then you won't be fighting with anybody over trying to get those things, right? Um, oh, okay, so retreat in a box. Now, <laughs> I'm joking, kind of 12 days, Sharon's saying 12 days until the PDF goes live um, on the Stampin' Up! website if you're a demonstrator. If you're not a demonstrator, get the starter kit. You could do that like right this hot minute and then you'd have access to the website and you'd be able to see the PDF too in 12 days. And good morning, Miss Diana. Okay, so this is my um, retreat. Sorry, if I if I do that, that's all just gonna dump over, isn't it? Okay, anyway, retreat in a box, which I won't be sending this box. Um, I'll be putting it in a box to mail everything to you, but super cute. So um, maybe I should have shown this when it's, we'll flip it down. Should I do that? Well, I kind of gave you guys a sneak peek last week, right? So anyway, you get a bunch of um, product, a goodie bag. So you get some designer series paper, you get the Noble Peacock rhinestones, you get some of the tassels, you get some of the little, um, the scallopy, can you even see those note cards and envelopes? You get some whisper white polka dot tool ribbon, you get make and takes, you get pillow gifts, tons and tons of fun stuff. And I'm gonna put another um, fun surprise in there also that I'm not telling anybody about. Um, so these, today's the last day to RSVP for the, sorry, I feel like it's all going to dump, the retreat in a box. So if you have any questions, I've been posting about it on my blog and on our Facebook group. I would love to get basically um, one of these cute little kits sent out to you. I will tell you that for the make and takes, you need the So Sentimental stamp set and the Dress to Impress stamp set if you wanna do your projects exactly like I have done. If not, if you just have another, so so sentimental, so sentimental, if you just have another stamp set with, like, with big sentiments, you can use that one. And even the Dress to Impress, um, it's some of the um, words that I used and then some of the flowers too. So if you have, you know, like a smaller sentiment stamp set and some flower stamp sets, which who doesn't have those, um, you could use those instead. If you wanna get, the um, So Sentimental Address to Impress stamp sets, let me know. I'm, I can order those for you and I'm not charging tax or shipping. So if you wanna add those on to your retreat in a box, I'll give you those at a discount. Basically, it's just catalog price only. Same thing if you need ink pads. I used Gorgeous Grape, Daffodil Delight, and Old Olive ink pads. So you can use those, you can use other ink colors that you have, or if you wanna order those, again, it's catalog price only, no tax and shipping. Thank you for sharing, Rosemary. Um, what else do you guys want to know? I think that's mainly it for the make and takes. So make and takes, oh, I have a PDF too, a tutorial that I've put together step by step, shows you exactly how to put the projects together. So, um, you know, there should be no questions. If you have any questions though, clearly you can get a hold of me. Um, I will mention too, so I've been trying to give my phone number um, whenever I think about it. So if you guys ever have any questions about anything, especially because it's a little bit harder with everybody being at home, you can call or text me anytime. I don't always pick up. Um, so just leave a message if I can't, you know, if I'm on the other line or if I'm, um, you know, if I happen to go to the grocery store or something, you know, that once a week when maybe I do that. Anyway, so, um, but my phone number is 989-330-0259. So call, text me anytime. Um, I work kind of on and off all the time. So I will get back to you as soon as I can if I don't pick up your call when you call. Um, 
Yeah, so if you have questions about the retreat in a box, let me know. Today is the last day to RSVP though because I gotta get everything ordered because now all of a sudden I'm like, shipping is running a little bit longer than it usually is. So I'm hoping I get everything back in time to get it out by the day I said I was gonna get everything out too. So, oh, last thing too, if you wanna pick up your retreat in a box, Actually, that's probably going to be called Retreat in a Bag because you're going to pick it up because I want to put it in a box. Um, it's $45, and if you want it shipped to you, Retreat in a Box, it's $60. Links are, um, well, actually, you have to email me for the um, PayPal link um, to, to order that. So amy.freelici at yahoo.com is my email address. Okay? Um, all right. I think... That's it. The only other thing I want to mention is if you guys are bored and you want other PDF tutorials of things to do, I have a PDF store on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Check that out. I have PDFs for the past couple of years. Um, so if there's anything on there that you have, you know, a stamp set even from a year or two ago, maybe there's a PDF um, tutorial that will give you some fun projects that you can make. And those are always for sale. They're always $15. Email that right out to you. And then you've got some inspiration. And it's usually a good kind of jumping off point too. At least for me, a lot of times it's hard for me to kind of get my wheels turning. And once I start actually making something, then like the, the wheels start turning, right? Like, oh, I made that and that and that. Now, oh, I didn't play with that stamp set or, you know, that, that stamp in the stamp set. So anyway, great jumping off point way to get your wheels turning um, is to use those tutorials. So, okay. Um, I think we are going to flip the camera down. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So because I have some more fun stuff, I want to show you guys, but I got to get a quick sip of water. And then we will do that. Okay, I think we are ready. Uh, and then I moved my notes. So I'm like, okay, I can't move them too far. I get confused about stuff, right? Okay, so here we go flying through the air. Turn your heads away for a moment while we get situated here. Flip. There we go. All right. So I have to show you guys. This is my, if you haven't seen it, I just posted and emailed yesterday. This is my latest class to go featuring, this is the gorgeous, inspiring Iris stamp set. And it was just kind of um, funny and ironic because my brother-in-law has a beautiful yard, a beautiful garden, and he's always working outside in the yard. Although in Michigan, you know, there's not as much time as we would like to do that. But he pulled a bunch of irises, I think, last fall is maybe when he did that anyway and I'm not a gardener but he had a bunch of them like in bags in his garage all winter long and he told me if I wanted any of them so just this week I went over and scooped up a few bags with the bulbs and got them planted so I just thought it was funny that this was um the stamp set that I was using on the class to go. And then here I am planting irises out in my yard. So we'll see. I don't know if they'll really come up this year or if I have to wait till next year. I think he said I'll be happier with my results next year, but hopefully we get a little peek at things this year. So we'll see. Anyway, but you guys, if you have not um, seen, this is a stamp set that is um, in the annual catalog. And it's one that I've had for a little while and just have really wanted to play with and hadn't had a chance to, and I thought, okay, well, that's the perfect opportunity to um, make a class to go out of it, because then I definitely get to play with it. And hello, Miss Debbie and Kathy. Um, so I want to just show you, we've got some beautiful imagery. What I love is, so kind of the line art here, and then these kind of stamp inside there to give that watercolor look and same thing with the iris here and then these fit inside there and then there's one more over here with those two that fit inside that image and then along with this fun little scrolly stamp and then sentiments you are somebody who makes everybody feel like somebody sending hugs prayers and lots of love this is a great sentiment right now to send out to somebody thanks and wishing you the best so an awesome stamp set and then 
I had not played with the Noble Peacock foil paper and designer series paper as much as I had wanted to. This is always the time of year when I'm kind of in the panic of, oh no, what's going to retire? I want to make sure I play with everything before I can't play with it anymore. So I chose to use um, the Noble Peacock foil and then the designer series paper on these projects. So let me go through, where are my notes about this though? make sure I know what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to show you the cards and then I will tell you the different options that are available for this class to go. Okay. So you, with my class to go also, you always make two of each project. So you end up making eight cards in this case, two of each of them. Okay. So these are the cards. And actually this one I have to hold up separately because this is kind of a where this lifts up and then this little baby just kind of slides in and out and then we tie the little ribbon on the bottom there okay so that is one of them and then you would make this guy right here and we did do some stamping on the inside also two of each of these right then there's this guy I love those irises and then one more with the purple and the green right okay so those are the four projects again you'd make eight so two of each of them in the class to go so now I'm going to give you the options so option number one is including the inspiring iris stamp set because I cannot do the stamping for you you do need this stamp set and you need your own ink pads to actually complete the projects oh thank you Philomena I'm glad you are enjoying the class to go kits thank you thank you thank you Okay, so again, option number one, Inspiring Iris Stamp Set. You get a full pack of the pearls. You also get a full bolt of the blueberry bushel ribbon that you will use on your projects. And then you get a six by eight piece of each of these foil papers that you will also use on your projects, okay? Um, you get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step step how to put everything together. I do all of the cutting and the scoring and the punching and the embossing for you. So all you need to do is your stamping with your own stamp set and your ink, okay? So option number one is $41. And you actually get this bolt, um, the full bolt of the blueberry bushel ribbon. You get this ribbon for free with option number one, okay? Then option number two is if you already have the Inspiring Iris stamp set. So make sure you don't order option number two if you don't have the stamp set because you need it to do your projects, right? You will get the pearls the ribbon, and then the six by 12 piece of each of these of designer series paper, plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these projects and the PDF tutorial. Option number two is $29, okay? Option number three is if you just want the PDF tutorial, you just wanna know step-by-step step how to put everything together, you're gonna get all of this stuff yourself. Maybe you're a demonstrator, use your own demo ID to get your discount, right? So option number three is $15, and that PDF tutorial is always available. So just like I was mentioning earlier that I have old PDFs on my blog, this one is on there right now, and it'll be on there years from now too, okay? So you can always get that PDF tutorial. Then option number four is for anyone who is in my downline, anyone that is an Inkspired stamper that's bought the starter kit through me or someone in my downline, you actually can get the PDF tutorial for free at any time. And if you want to get the make and takes, um, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these projects, it's just $12 basically cost to cover the parts and pieces um, of the make and takes, okay? Um, I think, oh, I know. I was like, I think I'm done, but no. So RSVPs are due two weeks from today. So on Friday, April 24th, and the kits should ship out by May 6th. Okay. Oh, the other thing you guys need to know, um, and I, I'm using the blacking pad somewhere else, so I forgot to bring it out, but you're going to need a blacking pad. You're going to need granny apple green, blueberry bushel, Bermuda Bay, and gorgeous grape. Those are the ink pad colors that we used. Okay. So if you have any questions on this class to go, please let me know. I would love to get one of these kits sent out to you. Um, yeah. So again, any questions, let me know. Okay. All right. I got to scoot this stuff out of the way to make room for our stamping. And actually I have one more, I think it's one more thing I want to show you guys. So let's scoot all this stuff out of the way. I'm going to pop in. This is our host code for this month, the X9M43 or R36Q, right? So if you use that host code when you order, your name will go in the drawing to win that ornate thanks stamp set, and you'll get the projects that we're going to demonstrate in a few moments. 
Um, oh, I know. This is the only other thing I wanted to show you guys before we get to our stamping. So every month I have a scrapbook class and we make three pages. So we make a two page spread and then a single page spread that the next month or the month prior we made the other coordinating page. Hopefully that makes sense. So I have to show you guys the pages that we made. Actually, and this is one that's coming up. So at the end of this month, we are gonna make this page with the cute little, I wanted to do it earlier, but the dies have been on back order and I'm really hoping that by the time we get to make these that the dies won't be on back order any longer. But this is the, the Bonanza Buddies suite. So we did make this page right here in March. So again, we'll make the other, the cute one with the little lion on it in April this month. So there's one page. And then these are the other two. And of course, the reason why I had to show you guys these is because it features the Parisian Beauty Bundle and that gorgeous paper, right? Isn't that beautiful? And this is a fun sentiment, right? Life is a magnificent adventure. And you can see the um, little champagne rhinestones, my absolute favorite, and here's the other. So you guys maybe can kind of see like that too. So this is my two page spread and then here's the other one. Um, and I love this sentiment. This is actually from the, oh, I can't think of maybe peaceful moments. These are the moments we'll look back on with joy. I know I've said it because every time I look at that stamp set, I'm like, oh, that has to go on a scrapbook page. So it did, right? And then you can see the pretty paper there too. So, and actually, I'm pretty sure both sets of these pages are um, inspired by my friend and fellow demonstrator, Melissa Roberts, um, my cohort for the weekend retreats. She had designed these pages um, back when we had our retreat, and I was like, oh, perfect. Those are going to be our pages for scrapbook class. So thank you, Melissa, for your inspiration on those pages. Okay, now what I forgot to grab was my grid paper. So let me find, okay, that's not too bad, that's not, all right, here we go. Get my grid paper in here. So let's, I want to get this lined up so I know when we're in view. Okay, that looks good. And then we'll just put that right there. Okay. I think we're ready, ladies. Are you guys ready? So, Parisian Beauty Bundle. Love, love, love. There's something, I guess because it, it's Paris. I've not been to Paris. I went to the airport. We went to the airport last summer in Paris. Not impressed with the airport in Paris, I have to say that. Um, really would love to get to Paris someday. So maybe, you know, if you can't get to Paris, at least you can, like, play with this cute stamp set and dies right in the meantime okay so here this is our first project and i had to use that amour right and then this sentiment says follow your heart it will take you to incredible places and then that embossing folder and then like i said i have to use this scroll i want to use it like on every single project that i make right now actually we should probably back up so the the stamp set this I did actually read, but I don't have my glasses on right now, so I cannot read that. What This is just a really nice kind of cursive background stamp. <clears throat> then this is the sentiment that I used on our card. Follow your heart. It will take you to incredible places. This is the one I used on that scrapbook page I just showed you, right? Life is a magnificent adventure, amour, and you're the joy of my life. And then that awesome Eiffel Tower. And then I love, it's almost like postmarking um, and the flourish I don't know, there's something about this stamp set and I'll show you on my second project. Actually, back it up, back it up, back it up. Let me show you also before we even get to making this card. We are not making this one. This is actually my project from the, I think this was our January demo design dream team. The PDF tutorials that we offer every month, free with your $50 order. Um, this is the one that I had made, and this is what made me think of it, because that little cursive writing, you see how it's just a great background and then kind of stamping the other things on there too? Isn't that, and then you got to have the scrolly, and then this is obviously the Eiffel Tower. I used the, drawing a blank, drawing a blank, it is foil champagne, the champagne foil paper right there, and I think Either I shared it or I'm going to share it, but I saw another demonstrator that did this like in the champagne foil. And then I think she put like a black or brown die cut behind it and just offset a little bit. 
and it almost it looked like a real Eiffel Tower I think because maybe it looked a little weathered or tarnished or something almost because this is super shiny and beautiful and then when you put that dark color kind of behind it and just offset a little bit it was really 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 cool and I think it even looked more three-dimensional with that piece kind of behind it so anyway I just love I love the ribbon I love the rhinestones I'm so hoping that those rhinestones carry over because I have not had enough time to play with those right but anyway this is beautiful if you want to know how to make this um if you i know what i'll do if you spend at least 50 dollars through me i'll send you this tutorial from january also just let me know that you want this one too because i will typically be sending the april pdf tutorial the 16 project pdf tutorial from the demo design dream team but i'll send you the january one too if you want it for this one because i love this so much so okay back to the card that we are actually going to make here. So let's scoot this stuff up and out of the way. Get that guy over there too. Okay. Oh, here's my black ink pad that I, I knew I had it pulled out for another good reason, right? So it was, it was for this project that we're going to make. Okay. So let me tell you about measurements of things. Let's do that before I get off to the races here. Okay. So we have um, a piece of crumb cake cardstock is what we're starting with. So along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches for our nice crisp fold on our card. You can use your paper trimmer to do your cutting and scoring just like that, right? Then we have a piece, another piece of crumb cake. Sorry, everything moves. Chrome cake cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And again, all of these measurements will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Um, let's see, these are just scrap pieces of, this is some of that cursive. And I love how it kind of, it kind of, yeah, I think it looks very similar, right? Can Who wrote, who writes like that, right? Very cool, right? So anyway, designer series paper, the, I think it's Parisian Beauty or Parisian Blossoms. Designer series paper, that's gonna be for our die cutting. Here's some of the champagne foil. You can see the glimmeriness there. The other pieces that you need to know sizes, more of the designer series paper. This one measures two inches by five and a quarter inches. And then a strip of Whisper White cardstock that measures one inch by three and a half inches, okay? And then we just have another piece of black cardstock to die cut our amour out of. So I think we can do, let's do our die cutting. So we are gonna use this one and this one and this one. And then these are for stamping and we do need to do some embossing too. So let's do all of that. This stays here. Let's do our embossing first. No, actually we're gonna do our die cutting because I already have that all set up right here. Okay. So I have my magnetic platform. I feel like we are not gonna be able to get to all three things. We're gonna just do these two. <clears throat> I would try it and then it wouldn't work very well. So we're gonna not do that. Okay, so we've got our Amour. We're gonna use that one right here on our black. Then we have the stitched nested labels dies. We're gonna use this one right here. Sorry, I'm flipping around a lot, I know. This is the second largest, so largest, second largest die. We're gonna put that right on there. Okay. Here we go. Cranking our handle. We're gonna go back and forth because I'm hoping to get the Amore cut well. Let's see how we do with this one. Okay. All right, so this one's gonna pop right out. Awesome, right? Okay, and let's get that out of the way. We do not need that anymore. Now let's see how our Amore did. Okay, so it's kind of stuck in there, right? We'll get rid of this. We will get this out in just a moment. I'm gonna set that aside. Let's do our scrolly thing too. So this is what the die looks like. We're just gonna lay it right down on there. Actually, here, let's pull that back out a little bit more. Okay. This is another one I'm going to go back and forth. I think it just helps to um, get it cut well. We're going to go back and forth a few times with this one because it'll help when we go to release it from the die. And one, yeah, okay, so that one's still kind of stuck in there. We're going to work on that in a moment too. We'll get our die brush out. 
All right, in the meantime, we are gonna do our embossing. So we do not need to do this. Hey, look at how organized I am. I have all this stuff ready to go. So we're gonna use, I love this Parisian Flourish embossing folder. And I don't know if you caught it, but we use this on one of the projects in my Inspiring Iris class to go. We put some of the foil paper in here. It was gorgeous. This is just such a pretty, that, the Flourish, right? The Parisian Flourish is so pretty okay so we had our regular platform here this is a 3d embossing folder so we needed our blue 3d embossing folder plate and check this out it's always like magic isn't it is it? oh i love 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 that all right so let's get this out of the way let's see yeah, i think we are gonna have to do a little bit of die cutting on this one I'm trying to get it ready to go okay so what else do we need? Let's pull our stuff back in here. Let's see so you guys can see the card also. Oh, I know what we need to do. Let's grab our dies. So we're just gonna run these. Can you guys kind of see? And I did bring my little, oh yeah, that is popping out. Sometimes I need a little help. So you just wanna be gentle. So there's our Amour, right? Okay, so we got that one. And then the Flourish here. And this was one that I, I noticed happened um, when I was doing it the other day too. So this one doesn't wanna pop out quite as easily. Maybe it's the foil. Maybe if I used cardstock, I don't know, we'll see. So again, you just wanna be gentle because you don't wanna rip. You tried, you worked so hard. Isn't that so pretty? Can you guys see again? That, love that scroll work. Okay. I think we are, we're gonna do some stamping now. So minimal stamping on this one. I kind of went crazy with the stamping on the next one. So I'll be excited to show you guys that in a few moments. Okay, so here is our piece of Whisper White cardstock. So we are gonna just ink this up. Miss Shirley, hello, how are you doing? All right, trying to make sure that is good. All right, so let's see. Can I get it straight? I have to tell you, I did bring an extra piece in case it didn't go straight, but I think that looks pretty good. So we are gonna be happy with that one. Oh, sorry, Denise, let's see, what did what were you saying? You said, I mean the embossing folder. Now I wanna to try to scroll back. Hmm. I missed, Denise, if you said something else. I missed your other comment. Maybe you love the embossing folder. That's what I'm thinking you're saying because it is beautiful, isn't it? All right, I think, I'm like, where's the card? I think we're ready to put things together now. Let's grab, we've got our ribbon and our rhinestones too. Okay, so step one is gonna be to put some adhesive on the back. And I wanna use a lot of adhesive on this one because I like to make sure to get it in the corners so it doesn't curl up and all around the edges so that it stays down there firmly. That embossing really makes it tend to not want to stick or it kind of pops up off of the card, right? Okay, so now we're gonna add some adhesive. This is pretty too, isn't it? I haven't used, I've used the flowers so much that I have not used the backside. That's really, really pretty too though. Okay, and again, I'll include item codes for everything that we're using here so that if you want to order and make any of these things, you can as well. Okay, so we're gonna put that one on. Now we're gonna add some more. Ooh, this is another pretty one too, so check that out, right? And there's the one that we're gonna use. Okay, so again, I want to use a good amount of adhesive because this is going on to an embossed piece. Okay, maybe put that. I'm gonna rub really firmly to make sure both of those pieces are on there well. Now we are going to use a kind of strip of ribbon here. And I just kind of looped it over and back. And I'm gonna cut a little bit extra so that I make sure that we have enough there. And I'm gonna just add some adhesive. Did I put that? I feel like maybe it needs to be a little bit lower. I'm kind of looking at this one trying to judge 
Where did I put that? Okay. <laughs> My fingers are being funny. All right, so if we do that, kind of goes down pretty low there, doesn't it? We'll try right about there. And I can always cut off that extra if I want to do that. Okay. Then we are going to, and again, I want to use, oh, my snail's being funny. I'm going to use a good amount of adhesive on this because this is going to go on top of the ribbon. And I want it to be able to stick down there well, right? Okay, so we're going to do that. Then I need, I'm going to use my little silicone mat here. Where's my Amore? Right here in front of me. Okay. So if you guys can see, I, I call it ticks. Like I'm just going to put little ticks of adhesive on here. And when I use this um, silicone craft sheet, it allows me to put adhesive all over this without getting, say, my work paper sticky. So I'm just going to kind of do little ticks, flicks along. I don't run all the way along because you will get like a span of adhesive all along there if you if you do it that way. So that's why I kind of do those little ticks. I think it helps me a bit, okay? And let's see. <laughs> I know, Rose, it is so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, um, the more I've played with it, because I, I didn't play with it um, much, or I hadn't, and now I, it's one of those, like, I kind of can't stop playing with it. Oops, and then I actually forgot. We are going to, I just put a little bit of adhesive on my scroll because I kind of like how it pops up. So we're just gonna do that. Here I was pressing so hard. Now I kind of want to lift this back up. Oops. So this is delicate, right? So you have to be a little bit gentle with these things. So I'm gonna put that right about there. And we're gonna press firmly to get that back down there, right? So then our last step is to just add, oops, a couple of, are these gonna be funny? Um, a couple of the champagne rhinestones. I just had to have a little bit of sparkle from these rhinestones. I was originally going to kind of sprinkle them around on the page and I just didn't like how that looked. So I just added two of them down in the corner. And there we go. So yeah, check out the embossing folder. I love this little scrolly guy, the Amour, right? So I thought this could even be a fun... Um, like a wedding card, a um, wedding shower card. Um, maybe if someone's actually um, someday going to be heading overseas, obviously not happening, you know, in the next little bit, right? But anyway, I just loved, I was really looking for um, a wedding card, to be honest, and I thought this could be kind of a fun wedding card. It's that, you know, coming up on that time of year, right? Okay, so there's our first project. I'm gonna scoot that out of the way and we will make our next one. So this next one features a lot of stamping because I loved this stamp set. Thank you, Philomena, I'm glad you liked that. So this one um, has kind of the same idea with just using this stamp set as um, kind of a way to make a designer series paper almost, just with all of this layering of these um, kind of background images. Anniversary, yes, a good card for anniversary as well. Thank you, Philomena. Yes, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I and what I think I love about this is because it's it's kind of not my traditional style, I would say. Um, I love, it, feel, it feels very artistic to me. And I don't ever really think of myself as being super artistic. So I think that's why like when I can kind of stamp all of those stamps in the background like that, I, I feel very artistic. So um, yes, it was it would be a unique wedding card, wouldn't it? <laughs> okay, all right, so let me tell you, give you some details on this guy as well. So we have a bunch we're going to use. We used, I think, pretty much all of our stamps except, oh, there were a couple of sentiments. So we didn't use the Amour, and we didn't use You're the Joy of My Life, but I used all of the other stamps on these two cards. So I think that was kind of fun too because that's not always easy to do. Um, but I was kind of going crazy with the stamping. So there's just a little bit of die cutting. Let's do our stamping first, because I'm excited to show you guys how I did that. Okay. Now I pulled all this out. I'm like, oh, should I be giving you dimensions? Okay, hold on. Let's do that. Because I was like, oh, I'll do it later. And then I always forget to do it later. So 
Um, and this is kind of fun too, so you guys can see the difference in color between, this is Sahara sand and that is crumb cake. So can you see it is quite a bit, this is a little bit of a greeny tan and then this one is just more of like a, a deeper, darker, like a true tan color, I think. Okay, so Sahara sand here. Uh, along the eight and a half inch side, or no, 11, 11 this way, we cut it at five and a half, and then the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. It is a very romantic set, isn't it, Philomena? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, so I'm gonna put that up there. Then, and then it falls over. I definitely need to be able to see it so I can tell you guys. We have a couple pieces of designer series paper. This is some of, ooh, look at, oh, look at all the shimmery, that foil on there, the champagne foil. So we're using the more simple background, kind of a lattice, right? Four inches by five and a quarter inches, and then just a little strip of some more of the designer series paper with more kind of scrolly work on the back. This is three quarters of an inch by four inches, okay? And then a piece of whisper white cardstock that we're gonna do our stamping on that is three and three quarters by four and three quarters, okay? And then the other things are just for um, the scraps of Whisper White and um, Sahara Sand for our stamping. Okay, I'm looking around like, where should I put this so that I don't lose it? Maybe I'll do it there. So, okay, that's die cutting. So we're gonna do this little, I don't know, is it like a filigree or something? We're gonna just stamp him. Let's get these ink pads open. So this is our Sahara Sand. We're just gonna stamp this one because we're gonna die cut one of them. We're gonna stamp that there, okay? Then we are gonna start with our pool party ink. Ooh, so I meant to have Lily tie these, uh-oh, string on there too, <laughs> before um, I did this and then I forgot. So hopefully these little thingies don't get like too, um, too inked up. Oh, let's see. Oh, sh your daughter's bestie loves to travel. Ah, yes. Yeah, she would probably love this stamp set than if she loves to travel, huh, Denise? Okay, so now to try to attempt to replicate this card. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp some cursive writing there, and it's okay if it's not totally lined up and perfect. I did another one right about there, and then I did another one down there, okay? So that's Pool Party ink with that little cursive writing stamp, and I think maybe we're done with Pool Party, okay. Trying to keep myself organized here, ladies. This is one that I can't do quickly because I'll screw it up if I do. So this is a Smoky Slate ink. We're gonna stamp our Eiffel Tower in the Smoky Slate ink. F oh, thank you, Sharon, the Fleur de Lis. Maybe I didn't say that right. I'm, I took Spanish in high school and college, not French. So <laughs> I'll do what I can with that one, okay. So there, we just kind of want to see a little outline background of the um, Eiffel Tower. Now we are going to, what are we going to do next? Let's do these little guys. Actually, I'm going to, I have to close this up or I'm so afraid I'm going to use the wrong color ink. Okay, so back with our Sahara sand, we're going to add in some more stamping. So we're going to do, this is, is kind of like mail to me, the postmarking, right? So we did a couple of those. Then we're going to use this little postmark stamp, right? And I'm gonna do one up there, and I think I did one down about there, and then the fleur de lis. Thank you, Miss Sharon. We're gonna do one there, and you can see how you, you just kinda play around with this and do what you like. Then the last one to stamp is this little it's this one right here, because I don't know what to call it. So we're gonna stamp this. And the idea is, I want it to be, I guess we can just, yeah. <laughs> it took me a little while to figure out, because I just wanna see that peeking out from the top there, right? So where is my, if I had my Whisper White piece, maybe I would put it right about there. So I'm gonna kinda try to cheat a little bit and maybe put that Right about there is fine. So it looks a little hodgepodgey right now, right? But then you start kind of adding things and it just kind of becomes like a background for all the other fun that you've had on this card, okay? All right, so I think we have our stamping. Oh, other than we do need our pool party ink to stamp our 
sentiment, life is a magnificent adventure, which is this one right here, okay. And so we're just gonna ink that up in our pool party. Why does that look, it's funny, it looks a lot, I think maybe it's a little bit long. I might have to, I think it might only be, let's do a double check. Maybe this was the wrong, that's the wrong piece. This is what I used from the other card. Where's my white? Hmm. Well, we might just have to use it because I don't know where. Here it is. Okay, hold a moment. Let's do that one more time. I kept thinking that looks really big for this. It would cover up too much and you know I can't have that. Okay, so we're just gonna stamp that right on there. Okay, so now a pretty postcard. Yes, it is. It does look like a postcard, doesn't it, Philomena? Yeah. So fun. Okay, so now I got to keep track of this stuff. <laughs> I can't lose things, ladies, and it could happen. Okay, let's grab our die cutting machine. Okay, so this time we're gonna, the fleur de lis, we're gonna use that right there. That is gonna flop all over the place. And then we need, because I have to put this, like I said, on every single project, especially with this. Um, when I'm working on these cards. Sorry, you have to concentrate here to get that. <laughs> so it doesn't move, and it probably will move anyway. But you know, this is not meant to be a perfect card. It's meant to look a little like a vintage, maybe from back in the day a little bit. So, okay, bear with me a sec. We're gonna go back and forth there to get that little scrolly. So that one's gonna pop out. Ooh, actually that is like perfect die cut. That doesn't happen very often, ladies. Very exciting on that one. And this one, let's see what happens here. Okay, that one's kind of popped in there too. All right, let's scoot this baby out of the way. And you know what? I think we are gonna just try to even use our paper piercing tool. And I bet we can get this babe out. There we go. So again, just be gentle. So you wanna not break anything. That little piece just needs to pop out there. Okay, there we go. So a fun little scroll again in, this one is Sahara Sand Ink this time. Okay, so are we ready? <laughs> I've like flung everything everywhere. Okay, so this is the card we are trying to make and then these are the parts and pieces we need to actually make it. All right. So we're gonna add our adhesive on our designer series paper first. And this one, I just kind of, I barely angled it, right? And then our Whisper White, oops. We're gonna pop this one on and I kind of just angled it back the opposite way a little bit. Then we need our designer series paper. And I want that to maybe be right about there, okay? We're gonna put some dimensionals behind our sentiment. So we're gonna do that. And then I wanna put a mini dimensional, oops, just up at the top of this. And I'll show you why in a sec. I only put it up at the top. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit of adhesive and then we're just gonna kinda Pop that baby on right there, right? Then I just used a little, where is my ribbon? Here, right here, okay. So this one, I just used a teeny tiny, because when I made this, I didn't have the ribbon on there, and I thought, oh, I just needed a little, a little more texture. So I just used this little bit, just about like that, right there, and we are just gonna kinda put that on the end of the designer series paper. Actually, let's go like that. And you just kind of want it to sit at an angle right there. Okay, now we can add our sentiment. Okay, life is a magnificent adventure. And so I want those to kind of just peek out from behind my sentiment. And then, because I'm gonna put this, actually we'll add a little bit of adhesive. Come on, Mr. Snail. So I want that up in the top, the back of the dimensionals on there. I didn't want to put a dimensional down there because then it would be kind of crooked. I don't like that, that, that really bugs me. It's like my thing, I guess. So 
we're going to just put that right there so it's up high enough and then it just kind of sticks on there then of course ooh, i need some more i think i did order because these are not on back order any longer i kind of stopped showing them because you couldn't get them for a while but the champagne rhinestones are not on back order any longer so we can get these again ladies so and just press down firmly on there and we did it isn't that beautiful and i the scroll haha <laughs> there's just something about that i love 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 that scroll so what do you guys think are you are you having fun did you, do you have this stamp set and the dies yet the parisian beauty stamp set and dies if not pick it up and you can make these cute projects or like i said if you put in your $30 order online this week. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the Ornate Thanks stamp set. Just make sure to use this host code when you order online, and then you will get both of these projects, either the Make and Takes, and you put them together yourself, stamping, um, and yeah, stamping and assembling, or I will send you completed cards. You let me know, I'm flexible like that, whichever way you like. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope everyone is doing okay. I know it's kind of a trying time right now. Um, hopefully the sun is shining where you are. I think that's a big help for me in my mood. And when it's not shining, just get into your craft room and play with pretty stuff and don't even worry what it's like outside, right? Or you know, anything else you can't control, there's nothing we can do about it, right? So just try to take your mind off of it and have fun um, crafting and creating and share. Whatever you're doing, share it with us on our Facebook group. We would love to see what you all are up to while we are sheltering in place, sheltering at home, right? So have a great weekend, guys. Um, I look forward to seeing everybody back here next Friday. Bye, everybody. Oh, and Denise, yes, happy Easter. Oh my gosh, I'm totally, yeah, this is kind of a weird time right now, isn't it? Yes, happy, happy Easter to all of you as well. Thank you so much, guys. All right, bye. Have a great weekend. See you soon.